Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so as you can see from the title of the video, today I'm going to be using the Fabulous Big Hair Tool to do um, like a really nice voluminous blow dry. Um, so I actually bought this, I'd say a couple of weeks ago because I've seen some really good reviews on it and some really good um, hair tutorials on it. And I always am looking for that blow dry look. So I just thought I'd grab this. I literally got it for like 40 pounds, I believe, which is amazing. Um, so it comes looking like this. You have this like contraption up the top. As you can see, there's a bit of hair coming out, which is a bit disgusting. Um, so you've got three, one, two, three, four. You've got four different settings. You've got your off button, you've got your cool setting, and then you've got like your medium and then your high heat. And then you've also got two buttons here, which you basically press. So one's like goes right, one goes left. And so when you're blow drying, it kind of rotates the brush when you press the buttons down. And um, yeah, so you basically just take this off, um, which is quite good. It's quite handy that it comes with this because it can kind of like protect your bristles. Sorry, there is a bit of my hair on the tool. That's the only thing I would kind of say is a bit of a downfall with the tool is that it doesn't pull your hair out, but obviously your hair can molt onto the brush. So it, you know, you'd obviously have to keep kind of maintaining it and making sure that you're clearing your hair out every now and then. I mean, it's the same with like a hairbrush really, isn't it? You have to kind of de-hair it um, a few times. Um, but yeah, apart from that, um, I absolutely am loving this one at the moment. And I just wanted to do this video today um, to show you guys how I use the tool and my thoughts on it as well. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to know how I create a big bouncy blow dry using this one, then please keep on watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel as well. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, please check out my Instagram, um, glam underscore by Chelsea Kiss, which I will leave my Instagram username in the description down below and I'd also link some other hair videos um, in the description as well in case you guys want to see some other hair tutorials I've done as well um, but yeah thank you so much um, for watching today guys and um, yeah please keep on watching to see um, how I use this big hair wand start off they do recommend before you use this tool that you dry your hair so it's slightly damp, dry it at 80%, you've got that extra 20% of dampness in the hair. Um, and that's when you kind of go in with this tool. Um, so the main things you would need today for this video, um, if you're trying to recreate this at home, um, is of course the tool. Um, and start off with a hairdryer, any kind of hairdryer will do. Um, so I'm using the Remington Ionic hairdryer. Um, this is just the hairdryer that I've been using for, well, for ages now, maybe a few years. Um, yeah, so I've already dried my hair pretty much um, because the Babyliss Big Hair Wand is just kind of like, it's something that you use after you dried your hair to kind of give it that volume and that swoop. So the products I'm going to be using today is a Tresemme heat protector and I always use a heat protecting spray. So, so important to, um, to protect your hair, especially if you're using any heat on it. Um, same with blow drying, it's still heat on your hair, so make sure you protect it. Also, I'm going to be using the Beauty Works Argan Serum. It's very well loved because I've nearly run out. Um, I absolutely love this hair serum. It makes your hair so smooth, silky. It's great for styling and giving your hair that little bit of extra shine. Um, I do have hair extensions in, so I absolutely love using the Beauty Works range. Um, I believe their shampoo and conditions, I believe they're sulfate free. I'm not using shampoo today anyway, but um, with the serum, it's perfect. It doesn't leave your hair feeling greasy, but it helps it to feel really hydrated and nourished. And it, I also find it helps kind of um, ease any frizz in your hair. Um, so I absolutely would recommend this serum. Um, you can use it when your hair's like towel dried or before you're styling, after styling. It's just such a good serum. I absolutely love it. So I'll be using this today as well. I'm gonna be using some sectioning clips as well. These are from Beauty Works. These are in, these came in my Molly May curl kit, which I also absolutely love. Um, I have done a video of using the curl kit. I believe it's my first video on YouTube. So if you want and um, check that out, um, 
I'll leave the, the link in my description and you can, and you can head over to that, but it is on my channel. Um, I just love doing hair and um, I just thought I'd do another hair video, why not? I'm also gonna be using a round brush. Oh my God, the hair in that brush. Sorry guys. Uh, I'm also gonna be using a round brush for my fringe um, as I cut my fringe in and I just like to kind of give it that volume at the front. Um, so I'll also be using a round brush. Last but not least, I'll be using a Tangle Teaser. I absolutely love Tangle Teasers. They're perfect with extensions as well because they don't pull in your hair. And when you brush your hair, you don't even feel like you're brushing it. It doesn't hurt. Um, as I know, some normal hair brushes, um, it can really hurt your hair. And obviously, because I've got extensions, I've got to be super, super careful with um, the what brush I use because I don't want to pull any of my... Um, my nine lines out basically so i'm just using the tangle teaser pink on the other side okay guys so the first step that i'm going to do is i'm going to take my hair out of this little high path ponytail thing my hair is going to look absolutely crazy i mean it's still damp um i'm just going to quickly brush it Um, a little tip is always it's always really good to brush from your hair bottom upwards. I literally I can't wait to get my hair done, guys. Also, if you notice I'm looking over there, it's because my mirror is there. Um, I literally can't wait to get my hair really done. I mean, obviously I know we're all in lockdown at the moment and we can't. But I literally can't wait for the day that I can get my hair done again. I'm thinking of going shorter as well, guys. And I'm definitely gonna get those bad boy roots done. That is for sure. And we'll just like to brush this bit back as well. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna show you how I do my fringe. So obviously at the moment, as you can see, I've got a little fringe, um, which hasn't been styled, so I look like a crazy woman right now. Um, but I'm gonna start off showing you how I do my fringe. Um, so I'm just gonna part my fringe section. And then I just kind of tuck the other part of my hair behind my ears. This is just kind of what I do. But I always like to style my fringe first and then I kind of move on with the rest of my hair. So that is my fringe done. Just kind of gives it like that little bit of extra volume. I always just kind of like to do my fringe first. So that way I can then concentrate on the rest of my hair. And but that's literally how I blow dry my bangs, my curtain bangs, um, whatever you want to call them. Um, so yeah, that's literally what I do to my fringe. Um, so now I'm just gonna carry on showing you guys how I do the rest of my hair. Next thing you wanna do is you basically wanna take a sectioning clip or a hairband and basically section your hair. So I'm probably gonna do three sections, um, just so that way I can get really to the roots of each layer and I can then, you know, really create that kind of voluminous look. I would probably say just section just slightly under the ears first. And then kind of just shove it on top of your heads, however you want to do it. You can use a hairband if you like. Entirely up to you. Just like that will do. I'm going to detangle the first section because obviously this is the first section you're going to be blow drying. And you want to make sure that there's no tangles so your hair won't get caught or anything. I need to get my colour done ASAP. Don't judge me guys, I can't help it. I don't have a hair salon. What I'll do is I'll show you first how to demo it. I'll demo it first without putting it on so you can see how it's gonna work, if that makes sense. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna depend, basically first of what I'd say is pick a setting that works for you. So obviously if you want to use a high heat, use a high heat. Obviously use a lower heat, if you fancy low heat. Um, I mean, it's always best to heat protect your hair so definitely use heat protection before you use this um or any kind of heat styling tool um i'm probably going to go for the second heat and um, so i'm just going to quickly um, put some heat protection on my hair so just quickly spritz the sections quick brush so 
always good to protect your hair, especially if you've got extensions, because it'll just make them last so much longer. So I'm gonna go the second heat, and then I'm gonna have to put it on, guys, to show you. But basically, you this side goes right. So basically, when you face it, the right switch goes right, the left switch goes left. So you basically are gonna do this kind of motion, like that, and brush it through. So you can do that first about twisting one of these, but pressing down on one of these, which makes the this twist. Do that, and you kind of just keep doing that motion like that. And then you turn it on like this. I'll quickly show you how you turn it on. And it twists like that. Like that. And keep going. I will crack on and show you guys how I'm using this whilst it's on. And uh, but I hope the demo has helped, but I'm sure you'll be able to pick it up whilst you're watching me actually do it as well. And um, yes, let's get started. first section it's really given my hair that really nice like swooping motion which I absolutely love and I would usually use my straighteners to give it this effect but I feel like doing it when you blow dry it makes it last so much longer and stay in your hair a lot longer and also I don't think it's as damaging for your hair if you do it whilst you're blow drying it but literally look at that really nice swoop that it gives you I really really like it and um, but I'm basically gonna repeat and um, the rest throughout the rest of my hair um, and yeah, I will come back when I finished my whole head, guys. big hair wand i absolutely love how it's turned out it's just giving me that really nice voluminous look i absolutely love it and it's just giving me a nice little swoosh at the end and like round my face as well and i really like using this for my fringe as well just at the end just to kind of like curl them under a little bit more um but i really really love it i think it's so easy to use and for the price as well i think it's an absolute like 
bargain like it does so much and i feel like it is reasonably priced as well and um, i'm just going to finish off with a little bit of um hair serum just to kind of control like, any frizz that i have in my hair um which i'm going to be using the beauty work argan serum that i showed you at the beginning of the video I kind of use one to two pumps kind of rub my hands together and just put this through my whole head really it just helps to kind of like ease any frizz and stuff but it also just gives it that really nice shine um but i absolutely love this serum because you can put it on like i said earlier like after styling before styling just bring it and it smells amazing as well i've been i've seen so many like youtubers use this serum and i just thought i'd give it a whirl and it really is lovely and i can just kind of flick the ends with it as well but yeah, I absolutely love how my hair's turned out. And this is basically what I've been doing. I mean, I said at the moment we're in lockdown, so I haven't really been doing my hair too much. I've been kind of living with a bun on my head. Um, but if I fancy doing my hair, if I want kind of like a blow dry look, this is exactly the tool that I would use. Hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. And um, thank you so, so much for watching. Please do let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see from me next. Please give me a thumbs up, like, yeah please give me a thumbs up comment share please subscribe and also please check out my makeup page and um, thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed today and i look forward to seeing you all soon in my next video thank you guys bye